Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing the second ever build in my Tazkavad save file. So remember that I am completely building and renovating every single lot in every single world um, in the Sims form. But I cannot make Sims, I can only do builds. So I need you lot to help me by making Sims. Um, you could do a set of Sims, you could do a family of Sims, you can do a couple, a single Sim, whatever you fancy. Do give them a backstory and upload them to the gallery with the hashtag Tazkabaz save file. So I will now introduce you to our second family that we're going to be moving into their new home. But if you do enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up, pop a comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Okay so here we've got Violet McCoy. Um, she was one of the first sims uploaded to the save file um, hashtag. Her hair literally stood out for me when I saw it in the gallery picture. And not only do we have Violet, but she comes along with her dog Toki and her cat Faye. So Violet McCoy and the pets were created by Lovatic0112 on the gallery. And this is the story behind Violet. Okay, so Violet always lived in the big city. She grew up there, she lived there her whole life. She then started to notice stray animals roaming the streets, um, in the alleyways, things like that. And she just couldn't take it. So she decided that when she would move out, she would take the animals. She is a true lover of animals. She would give those stray animals a home. So she was taking in animals literally left, right and centre and giving them so much love and so much care and trying to spread the word about this to encourage others, I suppose. And I'm guessing that Toki and Faye were also strays that she brought in as well and finally included in the description is that she loves the color black so we're going to make a black home surrounded with animal things animal objects um, and also she's a youtuber as well so she needs a youtuber setup okay so violet toki and faye have been moved into the streamlet single but we need to renovate this build because it is looking very green, very run down, and I'm just not a fan of the overall look of the build. Okay, so this house is situated in the same area and is actually directly next door to Dulcie, which was our sim that we built the house for in episode one. So we are going to make this house perfect for animals, perfect for Violet and her career as a YouTuber. Um, and we are also going to make it her favourite colour. So maybe a bit of black, a bit of grey, a bit of white, which I think is going to be super exciting. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so unlike the last save file video, I decided to completely bulldoze this build. And this gave me about 21 grand to work with on rebuilding it. Um, I just felt the original looked really sad and I didn't like the shape of it. So I thought it would be a lot quicker and a lot easier for me to completely scrap it and rebuild it. Um, that way I can kind of work with it how I want. But I really did like the backstory of Violet McCoy and um, the pets. I thought it was really cute that she's a YouTuber and trying to sp spread awareness for um, helping animals and things like that. Remember if you lot are uploading Sims to the save file to give them a backstory um, so that I do have something to work with. I also really like the fact that um, Violet McCoy's favourite colour is black because this then led me on to creating a black home for her and I thought it looked really really good in the end. I've never done a home that is all black and it turned out really really well. I loved the different um, items that I used that came in like blacks and grey colours. I think that the house did turn out really well. Um, so I am definitely going to be creating some more black builds and I think a black modern home would probably look really awesome as well. So I might give that a go in um, later episodes or even not part of the save file. Um, so that was really good. The budget here for this particular build as well, I think I used it pretty well. Um, I did end up being able to add clutter, which was brilliant. I always love to be able to add clutter in my builds. Um, and I know a lot of you in the last episode of the save file, in the, sorry, in the first episode. So I asked you a lot about the budget and I wanted to know if you thought I should just use um, the money that I got from selling the items in the original home or if I should be able to add money to my funds as well. And a lot of you lot had a similar idea in that um, sometimes it's okay, but maybe especially for the bigger lots as well, or depending on the family and their story, maybe adding a budget would be really, really handy. Um, so I think what I'll be doing is I'll play, in it, I'll, I'll play it by ear, depending on the lot size um, and depending on the family and their backstory as well.
but here we have the exteriors coming along nicely we've added a bit of um trees i even got a little armchair on the front i could just imagine like her sitting on the armchair with her cat or something um i thought that was really cute dulcie's also chilling looking at the house being built as well <laughs> that's quite funny actually um I th I, i'm really excited for this save file because i think once it's all finished it will be really cool to if people do download and play it it'll be really cool to see all of your sims kind of in the same world and um, socialising with each other. The fact that Dulcie is already on the same lot as Violet um, <laughs> just makes me think of all the, like, that the, the, they'll become friends, you know, if people um, do, do, do play the save file. Um, I'm stumbling over all my words now. Now we're getting on to the interior of the build and I did want to keep um, the black colour, obviously it is Violet's favourite colour, so we did um, shades of grey and mixes of white and black as well. I didn't want to do it all black so I decided to do black and then different shades of black as well, so we have white and then we've got grey tones all around the house and I think it looked really really good, it looked really sleek and really really cool. I didn't really go for a modern interior because I kind of wanted to keep the same theme of um, Dulcie's house for Violet. Um, not the same theme but the same kind of style of house. But I do I do really like the end result. Um, I did a single bed in this house as it is just Violet living on her own um, and I, to be honest I couldn't really fit a double bed. Um, I also played around a lot with the um, desk, her YouTuber desk. Um, the content creation desk was a little bit of a pain at first to get into the right place but once I moved the door around I feel like I fit it in perfectly um, and it all turned out well in the end. Um, we then moved on to the main room and we had a black kitchen. Um, again it wasn't too big, there wasn't much going on. Um, I did add a sink and we got a few cluttery bits, obviously I wanted to keep one counter kitchen space um, free so that the sims can prep their food on it as well um, but then here I was managing to add a little bit of clutter and I was super super chuffed with myself for being able to add clutter and then we added a TV as well in this um, in this particular build um, so that she can have some form of entertainment. I mean, I know she's got her content creation and that's probably a huge form of entertainment, but if she just wants to take a break and watch a bit of TV, she has that option there for her as well. And then we added things for the pets, so pet bowls, pet beds. I did end up doing a little pet course um, in the garden, the, um, what, what's it called? The, uh, <laughs> what is it called? The, the like, uh, exercise course type thing. Um, because obviously if she is taking in strays and looking after them, then they need someone to exercise as well. And with the back garden being enclosed off, I thought that was really realistic. I remember when we got Millie, um, our back garden never used to have, like we had fences around it, but it never used to be like stable enough kind of thing. So um, at the end, there used to be these huge trees in the back garden and like it was never kind of, an animal could easily get out um, throwing it back to my rabbit. My rabbit used to run around the garden and it ended up um, f like digging and finding a way out and we never saw Tabby again, um, F in chat, but <laughs> no, um, I remember I was devastated. I think I was about eight years old and my rabbit had gone missing. Um, but no, when we, when we got Millie, um, before we got Millie, my dog, um, my parents were adamant that, you know, we would, we, we, re we got fences, new fences put in um, and it, like we made sure that it was stable enough so that she couldn't get out because back when like I was growing up it never used to be <laughs> like there never used to be um, stable fences and things like that so um, it is fine now Millie's not got out we've had Millie for nine years and uh, the fences are perfect now um, but the trees I mean it was quite fun though to have trees I climbed up the tree at the end of the garden once um, so that was fun I kind of wanted to include that into the build as well because it is true if you are having um, a dog especially um, you want to make sure your garden is um, enclosed and there's no escape for them so now we're kind of finishing up and adding the last bits of interior here and again I'm really loving this one I'm super super happy with how this one turned out we added clutter we made it all um, her favorite color and then we even added a space for content creation and all the necessities for her pets and animals as well 
Um, so I really, really did love this one. Okay, and here we have got our finished rebuild of Streamlit Single in Willow Creek. I am super happy with how this turned out. I feel like I included everything that need to be included for Violet and her pets. So not only have we got all the pets things around the house, the bed, the food and everything, but we've also got a full on YouTube and video creating setup for Violet to work with in her bedroom. So not only have we got a full on YouTube video creating setup for her to spread awareness of helping pets and helping animals, but the house and its interior and exterior is all decorated in black, grey and white tones, which black is her favourite colour. So I feel like it is literally perfect for her. Also, since she fosters pets as well, I made sure to include an enclosed back garden area for the pets to play in as well, because I feel like it's very realistic to have an enclosed fence in the back garden if you do have pets. I hope I hope that you lot enjoyed episode two of our save file series where we rebuilt the streamlet single in willow creek i'm super happy with it and can't wait for episode three remember to upload your sims on the gallery with the hashtag tazkabaz save file and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it let me know what you think down in the comment section give it a like and hit that subscribe button take care and i will see you next time Taz out